Coach Mills here coming at you with a brand new Valorant video and in this video we got to break down the brand new patch 2.04 that got leaked so we have a lot of information early including some huge rank changes that you're gonna need to know about so make sure you watch it to the end plus we got to talk about some crazy stuff like a hundred thieves trying to pick up tens there's a lot to cover here so smash the like and subscribe but go to the game leap website in the links down below for high quality advanced guides tips and tricks VOD reviews we got everything that you could possibly need on the game leap website right down below so do yourself a favor go check it out but Without further ado, let's jump into the video. Now we're gonna read the leaks from Doe Esports. As we know, the patch is gonna be tomorrow on Tuesday, but we get to know a little bit about it before the actual official release. There are some really big changes here that are gonna be actually crazy for ranked play and just the quality of life of the game as a whole. Now, of course, we're going to be starting a brand new act, which, of course, we're going to be getting a new battle pass. So if you haven't finished that up, you have just until tomorrow to finish that shit up. So make sure that you go and grind if you're like a couple ranks away from getting that knife. But in the brand new act, we're going to be getting the new Agent Astra, which we broke her down in detail on our other videos. So make sure you check that out. But she looks absolutely amazing. And I think a lot of us are excited to get a new agent. But I wouldn't be surprised if everyone is trying to insta like this agent. It's going to be pretty hard to play her in competitive. I uh, will have to wait and see on that one but she is definitely one of the more popular releases since the start of the game now one of the biggest changes that is coming out in patch 2.04 is that players will no longer have their rank lowered at the start of an act so if you were an immortal player at the end of the previous act, you will remain as an immortal player on the leaderboard at the beginning of the following act. Now your ranked rating will actually be reduced somewhat, but it's not going to completely make you earn your rank back like they had us do before and end the episode. So you don't have to worry about some craziness like that happened at the beginning of the season. Now for those of you who are god tier, hitting rating is actually going to be more challenging to reach, requiring a top 500 players in their region to maintain a set ranked rating. Here are the requirements for Radiant according to Riot by each region. Latin America and South Korea is a 100 rank rating, Brazil is 200 rank rating, North America and Asian Pacific is 300 rank rating, and Europe is 400 rank rating. Later in the season, Riot will reduce the total amount of average rank rating per win or loss by five to try to refine MMR in competitive matches. This is for all matches. This means that technically in the beginning stages of ranked as a whole, you are going to be moving slightly further with wins and losses than you will be towards the end. So things are going to automatically get more stable on a ranked wide basis as the act progresses later into the competitive season. Now, one of the changes that is definitely a little bit controversial is ranks won't appear on agent select or in game, meaning that you will only see non member ranks after the entire game is over. And you know what? I've seen the argument for both sides of this some people don't really like the competitive anxiety associated with a hey, you're this rank you can't play these characters and when they get put with someone that is higher rank they just feel like they have to fill and of course they get roasted based on their rank and then on the other end of the spectrum i can see people getting mad when they are like a freaking immortal being put into a game with like a diamond one or a plat three and that person locks a duelist and now they no longer know not entirely sure how i feel about it but i do know that this is going to create a lot less toxicity in ranked which is always a good thing but as usual let me know what you think about this change in the comments down below now another rather large rank change that they did is now lower ranked players can queue with a wider selection of people without being cut off from playing ranked with them check out this picture that we're going to show you right now where if you're like an iron one you could play all the way with a silver three but if you're a plat three you can only play with a diamond three so the distance in rank gets smaller and smaller and smaller the more you go up now personally i think this makes a lot of sense and i think this also encourages people to be able to play with their friends at lower ranks without the need to smurf as hard while at the same time when you climb to the higher ranks things get a little bit more competitive a little bit more streamlined and a much tighter grouping of players leading to more balanced matches now honestly even though you couldn't queue with a silver three before as an iron one you could still get into games up against the same players so it makes sense that you could queue with them and i do think that the system overall is going to be a net positive but like usual let me know what you think about it in the comments down below 
Now, another rather interesting change that they're adding is a tactical voice inbound, which means that when you are pinging things based on location, there will be an adaptation of the audio depending on how you're pinging things. The big example that they put in this article is that when they put Spike spotted and the spike is on B, the AI system is actually going to speak out Spike spotted on B. Apparently, according to Riot, this is going to provide, quote, Richer information to the players with these changes, but followed up stating tactical voiceover is not meant to replace comms, so callouts will be ducked in volume when a teammate is speaking out over voice chat. Now this is a really nice quality of life change, it's just going to make some of the calls and the pings that you make actually more informative, which is going to be cool and it's going to be a better way to communicate information and you can always turn it off in the settings, so no harm, no foul, just all benefits here. Now all in all, this is looking to be an interesting patch, a lot of big changes, especially to ranked and I am pretty excited about it to say the least. Now I wanted to talk about another story that is huge and it's the fact that 100 Thieves, one of the best if not the best team right now a lot of people think, actually dropped one of their star players. Players, Dicey. Now for some of you this is gonna probably make you a little mad. Dicey was an insane player. They brought him to the team. He performed really well. They brought him on for a bit. He didn't perform all to the expectations that they had I guess and they dropped him. Now to replace Dicey they actually signed a CSGO player named Ethan and Ethan is a veteran in the scene and he's notoriously known for being one of the cr most cracked out mechanical players in all of CS. He's insane and they brought him on and for some context Steel said that he's gonna be playing the only and Nitro is going to be playing more flexible agents. Nitro and Steel are probably going to op if needed and Nitro might be playing Astra because they do think that Astra probably is going to see pro play. Now one of the biggest reasons they did this is they actually really value veteran CSGO experience. You see that where four out of the five players on 100 Thieves all came from CSGO and even though Asuna has been popping off I know that he's feeling a little bit anxious about the fact that maybe he's going to get replaced because it really seems like they don't want new up-and-comers they want a team of people that are generally experienced but i do think that asuna might be outside of that just because he's been performing so damn well he fits in so well with the team and because dicey was a little bit off they just decided to replace him now something that's interesting about this entire situation is hiko announced on stream that they even thought about picking up tens they tried to pick up tens pull him out of retirement out of cloud nine and bring him onto the team i'm gonna play a clip we're gonna roll it and then i'm gonna talk about some other stuff he says someone's like if you're going for a big pickup why don't you just invest the money to get tens a we explored the opportunity we explored the option b as somebody who's been on cloud nine and knows how th the the esports politic works if you think that tens is getting off of cloud nine you are sadly mistaken until his his contract is up so even if we wanted tens it probably wouldn't even even been an, an, an option. Now, yes, they kind of wanted to pick up tens, but there was a few problems and he really does hint at the fact that pulling someone out of a Cloud9 contract is near impossible. He doesn't give us any definitive information, but he does imply that him and some other Valorant players have had some trouble with Cloud9, specifically trying to get out of a contract, go to a different team. I'm guessing that their contract limitations are pretty restrict, so it would have been pretty hard to pick up tens, even if tens wanted to go and even if they wanted to push forward with that, but that would be pretty crazy, right? Right? Tens on 100 Thieves, that just seems kind of broken to me. I mean, you can't stack a team that hard. Come on, man. But do make a huge solid smash that like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And then go to the Game Leap website in the links down below for high quality content, advanced guides, tips and tricks, VOD reviews, mechanical courses, map guides. Do I need to go on? We got so much damn content. So if you really want to make this next act your act to shine and you want to climb all the way to Immortal, Radiant, and Beyond, do yourself a favor. Go check it out in the links down below. But thank you so much for coming by. I hope you enjoyed the video. I love your faces and see you tomorrow.